Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Star Wars Galaxies Emulator. Today, we're going to do something a little different for this first mini episode for today. We are going to accomplish one badge that you don't need to be buffed for. It's really easy. It's really cool. So the first thing we're going to do is fly to Theed, and then we're going to get our bike. And what we need to do is we need to fly over this way, past the mission terminals, past the bank terminals and the hospital. And if you're looking for uh, stat migration, there's the image designer tent in Theed. There's a usually somebody there. Doesn't seem like there is right now, but there's usually somebody sitting in there. And then we're going to go across this bridge. And what we're going to do is we're going to move along our, our content badges by doing the Trivial Librarian. So we're going to answer some trivial trivia questions. Now, this is the Theed Palace. And as you can see, there's really only one NPC inside. So this huge palace houses one NPC. Severe waste of space. Now I just have to remember how to get up sign. Oh, I guess there's two. Hmm, that's odd. This is the second one. Oh, it's just this Imperial captain. He doesn't have anything for us. Where we're going, and I'll keep the overlay up so you guys can see it, is all the way in the back. So we run through this first part here, which really should have some NPCs in it. And then up here, And then up these stairs. Now, the librarian quiz draws a lot from the expanded universe. So if you have not read a lot of the expanded universe stories, you may be at a disadvantage. However, I'm going to answer them all for you. So if you want to do this along with me, pause the video, come to this location, and you can play the game when you get here along with me. So I'll give you a second to hit that pause button. So once you get here, here's the librarian. And as you can see, there's nobody else here. He's the only guy, so obviously their library isn't very popular. So we're going to talk to him. He's going to ask us trivia questions, and we have to answer them. All right. So the first question is, who originally established the Free Trader Association of Naboo? And we can kind of rule this one out. It's pretty easy. It's not Darth Maul, and it's not Nuke Gunray, because they're not from Naboo. So we have to make a choice. Is it Queen Amidala or Shep Contopult? Well, it's Shep Contopult. But if we answered wrong, he'll say, of all the answers you could have given, I can't believe you gave that one. That was very, very wrong. Try again? So we can try again. And then he tells us we're correct. So that's the difference between a positive and a negative answer. If you answer negatively, he will give you an opportunity to do it again. So now we have to answer a another question. 
And this one says Corellian clams are known for the, this property and the property is being hard to open. What single center of mass do both talus and trellis orbit around? Keyword here, center, center point station. Approximately how many light years is Tatooine from the galactic core? The answer is 43,000. Rory is a moon which orbits which planet? It's Naboo. And how long is an average day on Dantooine? Let me think about this one. These are really close. It's either 24 or 25 hours. I think it's 24. So, no, we're wrong. Yes, we want to keep guessing. So 25 hours. In what system is the planet Dathomir located? That is Coeli. Where did the Trade Federation first test the automata of its vast droid army? I think it's Locke, because that's where we find a lot of them. How many moons orbit the planet? Endor. That would be nine. How many inhabitable moons does Yavin have? Three. Who formed the Brotherhood of the Sith? That would be... Xar Kun. What company originally developed the Victory Class Star Destroyers for the Old Republic? That is Rendili Star Drive. Four suits of a standard Sabic Deck R. I always have trouble with this one because even in the uh, Old Republic, I never really enjoyed playing Sabic, but I'm pretty sure it is coins, staves, flasks, and sabers. Yes, got it right. Which of the following is not a standard Sabic card? Um, like I said, I did not play this very often, but I know that one is in there and that one is in there, so it's got to be the Sarlacc. What song, written and performed by the band Starburst, was rated Scarlet? Artistically worthless and offensive by the Imperial Board of Culture. That would be like everything I do. So, only in your dreams. What song, performed by the ensemble Plexo 33, was considered the most popular song in the galaxy prior to the Clone Wars? That was prior to, so clones didn't need love to, and only in your dreams was in the previous question. So we are split between Tatooine and G minor and this one. Now, Tatooine probably wasn't much of a thing prior to the Clone Wars, so nobody cares about Tatooine. So, 
It's got to be that one. What sport was named the official sport of the New Order shortly before the Battle of Yavin? That one I don't know. Is it Ringer? No. Okay, I'll try Wag Sphere. Doesn't sound like a sport, but we'll give it a shot. But we got it right. What is the more common name of the Conseyer BTL Long Probe Starfighter? I think it was the Y Wing. The T I E N TIE Fighter is most commonly believed to refer to what? Twin, twin ion engine. The Playlight, Playwright Thallus. Lauren is best known for this drama. Mm. I think it is this one. No, no. Let's try this one. Okay, so it was... Uh, Serpent Rain. I knew it was one of those two. I just couldn't remember which. So that is all the questions you have to answer. So answered all the questions I have. Perhaps if you come back another time, we can play again. Who knows? Perhaps I'll even have more questions for you then. So we got our badge. And we click thank you for everything. And as you can see, Trivial Librarian. So that is the Trivial Librarian badge knocked out as we progress through our Star Wars Galaxies badges. We have a few more to go as you can see, but we are making progress and tomorrow I will probably do the um, badges to for the waypoints on another planet. I'm not sure which one I want to do to tomorrow. I mean, we might just want to wrap up Naboo, so maybe we'll do that. And uh, that way we can, uh, we can be done with Naboo for now and not have to worry about it. Um, so yeah, let's, um, let's wrap up Naboo, get that out of the way. And then we can just worry about other places. But the palace is a cool place. I just wish they did more with it. It's so empty and open, but the architecture is awesome. The architecture of Naboo in general is awesome. It's just so empty and ridiculously uninhabited. Is this the way out? Yeah. Kind of hard to tell sometimes. It looks like it leads down to an empty chamber, but when they did the uh, the Vader event in on live and he would land in his ship, he would land right here in the uh, the square and the Imperial Guard would line both sides of the square and Vader would get out of the shuttle, walk down walk up to here and then he would turn around and he would face the crowd assuming there was a crowd here and he would call out someone in the vicinity and they would come up and have to kneel in front of him and accept their award and it was actually someone in the crowd got called out to come over it wasn't you know hey buddy buddy you come over here and everybody could come up as one person it's really cool anyway 
that is it for the trivial librarian uh i will do another episode later tonight and tomorrow we will have the episode with the naboo badges so you guys can have those and uh we're just doing the badges that count to or the pois that count towards badges so i think i misspoke that we're going to do the um the POI badges for Naboo, Knockout Naboo, and then we already did Tatooine. So I think if we do one planet a week, we should be in good shape and not too far out of our timeline for the uh, the badges. But Tatooine's done, we'll get Naboo done, and then we'll see where we need to go. Because I think Naboo has... How many does it have? Um... Four or five, if I remember right. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Um, I know it's short, but there'll be more today, so don't worry about that. Uh, this is just one of the educational ones. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of those. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, click that like button. And if it helped you out, awesome. And I will catch you guys later in the next episode. See ya.